if you guys thought these climate protesters were just, uh, you know, they they weren't playing with a full deck of cards, if you thought that uh, they, that just just maybe they aren't the sharpest spoons in the knife drawer, I present to you this. Electric car vandalized by climate activists in Bristol. Environmental activists targeting SUVs have deflated the tires of an electric car. (laughs) A man living in Clifton, Bristol, said he saw his Tesla's tires were deflated when he went out to walk his dog. On the windscreen, he found a leaflet saying, Your gas guzzler kills! And other cars are also targeted in the street. And that's why I keep mine in the garage. Uh, He said there was something comical about it, but felt slightly violated. You should. Now, the Tesla owner added, it's ironic because I was trying to do the right thing by buying an electric car. Hey, hey, you know, that's what happens when you're a sucker and you fall for everything that they they, uh, tell you, you know. Though it's ridiculous and inconvenient. I get why climate activism is happening, but I'm not seeing the point of this. No, this is where you're supposed to stop and think. What if all the rest of it is this fucking stupid too? Like, man, what what, what if the alt-right Nazis are right? What, what if actually the production of, of the batteries in my electric car cause more pollution than gas would? Shoot, like, well, what if I think about where my electricity comes from and realize it's from a coal power plant? You know, the group claiming to be behind the deflating cause itself the tire extinguishers. That's creative, I guess. At least. I'll give them that. Spokesman for the group said hybrids and electric cars are fair game. We cannot electrify our way out of the climate crisis. There are not enough rare earth metals to replace everyone's car and the mining of these metals causes suffering. Uh, that's a lie. There, there are there are more than enough. Look, they're called rare earth metals, but they're actually not rare. The problem is they're they're not often found in veins. So so yeah, like the the part where the mining causes suffering. Yeah, that's. Have you ever have you guys ever seen a legitimate strip mine? Yeah, that that's the kind of shit you got to do to get these rare earth metals. Yeah, because they they're they're pretty much everywhere. It, it's just like they 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 exist in small quantities almost everywhere, and they very rarely exist in large quantities in one specific place. So yeah, you got you gotta tear up miles and miles of land. You gotta strip mine the fuck out of it just just to, to get these rare earth metals out. All right, plus, the danger uh, no, to the road user still stands. Uh, Mark Moran, uh, MBE, Chief Executive of Hydrate for Health Limited, also had his tires let down. Many drivers have been hit multiple times, mine twice for uh, tires and once for paint, he said. When, when is it going to be legal to use lethal force to protect your car, I wonder? Yeah, maybe when this starts coming to all these rich, gated communities, maybe. Uh, Mr. Moran said that uh, there was no debate. Uh, we need to do the best we can to improve the environment, reduce waste, and reduce pollution. But he said the campaigns did not seem to understand that the cost to the environment of replacing the tires was far in excess of anything saving their their smugness will make. <laughs> yeah, you, do, you, you realize that rubber is an oil byproduct, right? Tires use oil in, in, in their construction. And you just made this guy have to uh, use more oil. Congratulations. All right. They are simply a faceless bunch of eco warriors who want to force their will upon people with zero rational debate. And guess what? People like you created them. Mr. Moran won a Queen's Award for Innovation in current year minus 11 for inventing a hands-free drinking system to help reduce dehydration for hospital patients and care home residents. Okay. You know what? This is just too funny to pass up. So this, this man... Got a Queen's Ward for innovation for inventing this? Inventing carrying a beverage on you, either on your head or your back, and drinking it through a straw? You invented that? Huh. Didn't know. So so that's that's the guy who invented those. Uh, Avon and Somerset police said they received four complaints that uh, car tires have been let down in the Clifton area overnight from Thursday to Friday. Uh, we believe the incidents are connected to a national environmental uh, uh, terrorist group, uh, which has previously targeted SUV vehicles in the area, the force said. 
On this occasion, one of the vehicles was scratched after suspects were unsuccessful in letting down the tires. Uh, we are encouraging anyone with a CCTV or Dobo footage in Merchants Road, the, the Fossway, Clifton Down Road, or Manila Road uh, uh, areas to get in touch. On um, Wow, are the cops in Airstrip 1 actually going to investigate real criminals for once? Like, you, you're not too busy harassing grandma for offending people on Facebook today? Well, now that is the biggest bit of news in this article. And the leaflet left on the car said the tires have been let down because of the climate emergency uh, facing the world. Uh, we have deflated one or more of your tires. We did this because driving around in your SUV has huge consequences. SUVs cause more air pollution in your neighborhood than smaller cars. SUVs are more likely to Minecraft people in collisions. No, you know, you got to look at it this way. SUVs are more likely to protect the driver and uh, other occupants in the case of a collision. You just got to look at it correctly, man. That's, that's all this is. It's not hard, although I'm sure it is to you.